In today's video experiment, I am going to take a couple of test shots using my action camera using a homemade DIY gimbal. So if you want to check it out, stick around because I am experimenting with this for the very first time. So here we go. Hey there, this is Keith. I am beside Lake Ontario today because yesterday I came up with an idea and I'm going to try it out today. By the way, I'm using my uh, extendable 12 foot, uh, it's a broom handle uh, for my video work. I am using my action cams, two of them. That's what I'm recording with today just for the fun of it. And if you see what I have here in my hand, it's actually a uh, one of those devices, a roller, a roller they use to put paint on walls. And what I thought I would do is mount my camera on it and then it'll hang upside down, but don't worry, my camera records well upside down. And what I'm going to do is use it to reach up high and record a uh, video like Hollywood movies do, where the camera is moving, panning up and down, and it looks very, uh, well, professional. So I'm going to test this out, a $1 thing that I bought at the dollar store. So as you can see, it rotates pretty well. So as I go up and down, the camera should stay level. So I'm going to test it out. So you can follow along with me today and just see how it looks. Here's my first test shot. I'm just walking down the beach. The camera is just above the ground level. And now I'm going to pan it upwards up to this tree. Up, 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 up. So there I am up about eight feet above the rocks. Nice bright sunny day too. Now I'm just going to pull it back down very slowly and hopefully the camera stays level, gives you a good shot. And then I'm going to pan down and back, walk backwards and give you a pan of the rocks. You can see the shadow of my camera as I get close to the rock. There you go. Okay, here we go with the test. Very high up, looking up and over the building. Should be able to see the roof and the snow. And now as I back up, I'm panning down, panning down, and then you can see the building. Hopefully that looked like a Hollywood shot with my $1 rolling pin for paint. So this is what it looks like as I walk along the ground, but I'm going to move up this tree. So up, up, up through the branches. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. up. My action cam is at high height. It's up there like 20 feet into a tree. And now I'm going to back it off and walk backwards. I'm going to try that again because my camera got caught in the branches. Okay, here we go. Backing up. Backing up down the tree, the video pan and then across the park, through the branches. Cool stuff. So here I go. I'm recording over top of the building. And now I'm going to back away and pan down. So very slowly pan down the building and now pan away and across the scenery. And there's my shot. So there you go. You just witnessed my first experiments with my homemade gimbal, the $1 paint roller placed onto the end of an extendable mop handle, which I used as a boom pole. Now, my initial impressions are that it didn't work that well. It was swaying back and forth a bit, which was probably caused by me doing it in real time, moving too quickly. So I'd have to go slower. Also, the camera itself is a bit too light, which causes it to rock back and forth. And if I weighted it down, a 
little more, it might work better. But more experimentation is definitely necessary. The shot you're looking at right now is another one I did, but it's done in slow motion. And slow motion is much better for panning, makes it look more stable, of course. So hope I've given you some ideas for that you can use yourself to make a homemade gimbal. I'm going to keep working on this to see if I can get it to work a lot better, more stable, which is more professional. Bye for now.